Hey everybody, it's Maria and uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering why I am dressed in what looks like pajamas, they're kind of like lounge pants, it's because I got completely soaking wet on my daily walk. Um, today marks 186 days in a row that I've walked 10,000 steps or more. And I'm like on this mission now since pretty much since COVID began. Um, so I feel great and I'm really happy to do it, but sometimes the weather, you know, is a little unexpected and, uh, yeah. So, and that is why I'm dressed like this. Also, this is in honor of my dad, my late dad. Uh, he was in the Timberwolves in World War II and, uh, I got him this a couple of years ago for Christmas. So uh, when he passed away, I took it and I wear it and I think about him and it's keeping me warm on this really cold day. I should have the fireplace behind me, but I thought this was so cool. Um, anyway, my doggie is here. She's 18 and almost a half at the end of this month. She'll be 18 and a half on the 28th. So what do I have here? This is the first of its kind for me. Um, I'm always up for a challenge and when I someone reached out to me from horse brand uh, I think it's lot music. They're very nice there I've, I've actually reviewed their lyre harp and a kalimba. So if you want to check out my videos I'll try to post them you can look um, You can look in the description, but I'll try to post the link up there in a couple of places above Just pay attention. You can see it and click on it after if you want to check it out um, if you've watched my YouTube channel, um, you can see some of the musical challenges that I've taken um, to learn different types of music on different types of instruments. So when I was approached and they asked me if I knew how to play the bass ukulele, I was honest. I said, no, I don't, but I would love to learn. And I do. I, I really always thought that'd be cool. So they sent it to me in hopes that I will um, be able to produce some music with it, and I hope that I can as well. But it's the beginning of my journey. I just got this um, yesterday, and I only had a chance to look at it a little bit last night before supper. So I did learn that it's strung like the first four strings on a guitar, so that's really cool, E-A-D-G. I'm a guitar player, so that was helpful. I, I right away knew the names of the strings. So before I show you the um, bass ukulele itself, I want to comment that I really like this gig bag. I want to say this is top 10 of my t favorite gig bags that I've ever gotten in whatever instrument. Not only do I happen to, I just happen to like the horse logo and you see the horse, that's kind of cool. But what I love is the material that it's made out of. I love the color. It's not your typical black gig bag. I know lately we've gotten some gray, which is really nice. But this is a really cool blue that I love. It's got your um, a pocket for your accessories and they give you some accessories. But look, if you know me, you know I love the backpack straps because you could take it anywhere and it doesn't fall off your shoulder. So this is a plus. I really like it's got padding. You can feel it. If it falls down, it doesn't look like it would be terrible if it was just sitting up and it kind of fell down. You have a handle, okay, and the two zippers. Look at this baby. <laughs> this is so cool. Comes with a strap. A little thicker than their ukulele straps, but not so thick that I mind it. It's the kind of material where it's flexible. So I like it. It's pretty comfortable. Look at these jumbo strings. Are these the most hysterical things you ever saw in your life? When I first saw these um, on, a, on a ukulele, I was like, is this a toy? But it really does work and it makes that bass sound. And it's acoustic electric. So when I get good at this, I can put some effects on it and you could plug it in and amplify it and be heard over whatever. Um, it probably needs to be tuned again, so I'll tune it. Uh, but these are the coolest looking tuners. You see that? And I'll get a little close up or I'll put a picture. They're geared tuners. They're kind of open geared in a way. I see the gears, but uh, really, really nice with the big fat I've seen these on bass guitars. So you have your regular bass guitar tuners. You have this um, laminate mahogany, but nice sheen, nice feel to it, not too heavy. Um, what else? You got the strap buttons, which is a plus. And it says horse model UH28U. So 
This is what it sounds like. Let me see if it's still in tune. Not bad since I tuned it last night and it was way out of tune. Obviously, when you first get it, it's going to be out of tune. And you want it that way, as I've mentioned before, so that the strings don't pop. Although I don't know if these are going to pop. So I learned a few things already. I learned that it's probably best to, to pluck the strings this way, not like up like a classical guitar or finger style guitar. So you kind of rest your thumb here and you can kind of give it a... And if you alternate your fingers, you can go a little faster. So E, A, D, G. And uh, I started to learn the scale. Let's see if I remember it. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And it's that tune I could hear it, but there you go. I've learned a scale. And there are so many videos out there on YouTube um, where you can, you know, teach yourself any instrument. So that's what I will be doing. If anybody wants to comment, leave a link to some place where I can, uh, you know, uh, get my jump start my learning. That would be awesome. Um, and I thank thank you, uh, Lot Music, for trusting in me, Horse Brand, that I will be able to make some good music uh, with this ukulele. By the way, so I can show you that there's a tuner right built in. So I forgot about that when I was saying I have to tune it. So why don't I get it in tune right now? Okay, it's all tuned up. Took a little bit because these, I'm not used to these thick strings and I was overshooting it a few times. So let me do the scale again now that it's in tune. So it's E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, oops, G, A, B. Of course, I should be doing it this way. So I'm just learning. Um, so there's your tuner. Let me come up a little closer. You can see everything a little better. Okay. So you have it, your tuner here with the light, and you also have some EQ for when you plug it in where it's got, you know, bass, treble, and such. Okay. Here are the geared tuners. Really jumbo. I don't know how the action's supposed to be on a bass ukulele, but it looks fine to me. There you go. And uh, give you a look at the bag. Oh, and uh, I think there's a few things in here. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. They give you an extra tuner. And yeah, that's about it. And the strap. Okay, so thank you for watching and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You never know what's going to pop up and what instrument I'm going to learn. And um, I'm just really enjoying uh, playing music and I hope to encourage you to do the same. So thank you and be well. Okay, I just got up closer because I realized you really couldn't see anything before. Uh, this is the headstock and it says this is a kind of cool horse. And the shape is like a silhouette of the O. It's very clever. I like the shape of the headstock. And yeah, this is the, the uke, base uke. Okay, and also there's the action. Okay, I mean, just eyeballing it. But like I said, it felt pretty good to play it. And it's very smooth right here. The frets address very nicely. All right. And if there's any specifications, I'll put them in the video. I'll pop them on the screen.
and I'll show you the gig bag the same way. Be well.